The world is not a safe place, especially when you control one of the top economies, military powers, and populations in the world. That's why world leaders are constantly surrounded by top-notch security, and the state's secret services are always on the lookout for potential threats. However, when it comes to the six most protected leaders in the world, the security detail becomes a bit more excessive. Number 6. Mohammed bin Salman If being crowned prince of one of the biggest exporters of oil in the world is not enough of a good reason for the Saudi heir to the throne to keep tight security around himself, his over 13 billion net worth surely is. Mohammed bin Salman is definitely one of the most influential people in the Arab world, as he represents the modernization of the Saudi state. The Saudi royal family is not foreign to the assassination business, since they were tied to the brutal murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. That was enough for many to target any Saudi royalty, especially Mohammed bin Salman. Since becoming a minister of defense of his state, Salman made some radical modernization of the Saudi army. He united the country's military power with the expertise of the state's secret services and created a personal army to protect himself from foreign threats. As a result, Mohammed bin Salman's 1,000-strong security detail has highly trained soldiers and a cyber security team that is always on the lookout for viable threats to the crown prince's well-being. His security detail has even grown, as two years ago, the Saudi prince started looking for 1,800 new officers. Being behind Saudi Arabia's vast military budget, Mohammed bin Salman has done a lot to modernize the country's military equipment. As in 2019, he spent over $20 billion on buying top-notch guns and artillery for the country's army. Number 5. Queen Elizabeth While the biggest threat for the 95-year-old Queen of the United Kingdom is time itself, there is no shortage of outside dangers as well. Unsurprisingly, being the Queen of England is not all wearing ridiculous hats and waving as if you're trying to chase a pesky mosquito away. From time to time, it's related to making tough decisions, which, unfortunately for the lovely old lady with the crown, means she's made some very powerful enemies over the years. Being the head of one of the wealthiest families in the world, with a combined wealth of over $80 billion, certainly doesn't help the family in the security aspect. The Queen's security team is undoubtedly one of the best in the world, combining highly trained combatants with some of the best spies the world can offer. James Bond can eat his hat compared to these highly trained professionals. Typically, the Queen's detail can rarely be seen. They work predominantly behind the scenes and blend with the crowd to keep the illusion that the Queen is ever so close to her subjects. One part of Her Majesty's army of bodyguards is called the Queen's Guard. They can be seen patrolling around palaces and Windsor manors and often can be heard shouting, Make way for the Queen's Guard! They are notorious for never stopping, no matter what. More than one video has captured a heavily armed marching unit to push away an unsuspecting tourist. However, the Queen and the royal family can always count on assistance from the police and the MI6 special services to investigate potential threats and always have a backup plan if things go south. Number 4. The Pope If I told you that the world's smallest country leader has one of the biggest security details globally, you probably consider this man paranoid. However, as you might have heard, the Pope is a bit more than the ruler of the Vatican. As head of the Catholic Church, he is one of the most important figures on Earth. Although the Pope is usually considered an epitome of peace and one might wonder who would be so desperate to kill the guy who literally speaks from a balcony to his subjects, there is no shortage of attempts on the Pope's life. One of them left Pope John Paul II with four gunshot wounds back in 1981. Miraculously, he survived. One might say the Pope had some connections up there. Most of the Pope's security team is the Swiss Guard, who are dressed in their ceremonial uniforms. Unfortunately for them, they haven't been changed since the Guard's establishment in 1506, and now look more like something you'd put on for the Renaissance Fair, rather than for protecting one of the most influential people in the world. Don't be fooled by their appearance, though. The Swiss Guard is one of the most ferocious security units on the planet, where only combat experts can find a place. It's the oldest regiment that never ceased to exist and consists of highly trained Swiss army men between 19 and 30 years old. Yes, unfortunately, the Catholic Church is not so big on the whole gender equality theme, and women are 
are actually not allowed in the guard. The number of the person is a state secret, but one thing's for sure, you wouldn't want to mess with these guys. Number three, Kim Jong-un. If you ever doubted this head of state would be here, you clearly have never heard about Kim Jong-un. The dear leader of North Korea has a particular superpower of putting a target on his back with a particular CIA flavor. Kim is hands down the most brutal totalitarian leader globally, having sent his own uncle to be dismembered by hungry wild dogs. Quite frankly, the world would definitely become a better place if someone manages to flatten Kim's pulse line. And the North Korean leader is well aware of that. So he's taken some pretty solid measures to continue being a thorn in everyone's butt. Kim's security detail consists of several thousand people, but most notable are the ones jogging beside his car wherever he goes. These men are highly trained martial artists who have vowed to give their life for Kim's security. Besides the extensive background check and the high-end training, the recruits need to have one particular feature to get the chance to die for their dear leader. None of the guards is allowed to be taller than Kim Jong-un, who's anything but tall. The North Korean leader also travels with two decoy jets. If someone decides to take down the North Korean leader mid-flight and possibly spark a global nuclear war in the process, it's said that Kim can count on 90,000 soldiers to personally protect him at all times, which dwarfs the whole armies of many modern nations. Number two, Joe Biden. Being the president of the United States is the job with the highest mortality rate in America. Not a terrific advertisement for the position, I must agree, but ever since President Kennedy was shot to death half a century ago, the US government spared no money to make sure the president's security is beyond perfect. The United States Secret Service, tasked with the president's protection, has an annual budget of nearly $2.3 billion and employs over 700 people with the massive and heavily armed police that secures events and makes corridors for Joe Biden to get unobstructed to events working along the USSS, the US president can indeed feel safe. In addition, the CIA operates behind the scenes to find threats before they even have the chance to get close to Biden. The president can count on an armored limousine, a highly secure chopper, and Air Force One, the most secure plane on the planet. Number one, Vladimir Putin. Finally, we have Vladimir Putin, whose personal security detail is truly legendary. The former KGB agent knows how easy it is to kill a head of state who's not in the hands of a competent security agency. So he invested heavily in establishing the FSO, better known as Putin's private army. When he's not hiding in his Ural bunker, the Russian president has one truly inspiring security detail, with over 3,000 people ready to jump in and stop any attempt on his life. It's an understatement that Putin has a lot of enemies, so he is known to treat all his security agents outstandingly well by giving them some lucrative properties and generally a great life above all laws. Putin's security has several crucial tasks, including checking and securing every hotel, room or event where the president will go and tasting every food he will taste during a diplomatic visit. In addition, the unit responsible for Putin's safety has armored cars, drones and even a psychological security unit that can determine whether anyone in the crowd has ill intentions towards the president. Finally, Putin has a whole private road from his home to the Kremlin, the seat of the Russian government, so there is rarely anyone that can meet the Russian president unintentionally or by chance without being scanned and secured beforehand. These were the most protected world leaders in the world. Which one would you think would be the hardest to get to? Share your opinion in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our last video on how President Vladimir Putin travels. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.